Rhubarb's mind was idle. Not completely idle, just asleep in a rhubarb kind of way. He idly picked up his television control and sleepily pointed it at the screen. Nothing. Next he tried his music centre, aimed and... nothing. Nothing works, he whispered to himself in horror. Absolutely nothing works. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? He barked. Nothing works! Just then, Custard breezed into the house with a cheesy grin and a bag of chocolate-coated fish. Want a chucky? He breezed, and Rubar turned his head and his stomach away from the revolting-looking morsels. <laughs> nothing works. The telly, my music centre, nothing. You're just out of sorts, my dear dog, said Custard. You have become idle with all your remote control devices. You don't have to move. So you don't. Anyway, I thought you knew all about high-wire technological controls and bone phones and the like. <laughs> At which point, Rhubarb muttered something about Mouse taking control of his life. Ah, oh, so it's all Mouse's fault, is it? Oh, Mouse, eh? Scoffed Custard. Yes, Mouse is a control freak, seethed Rhubarb as he stabbed at the on-off gadget. Ah. Healthy mind, healthy body. It's you what needs to change, Custard chortled. You're right. I am a mess, Rhubarb grumbled, as only he knows how. But look at you. Always eating those awful chocolate fish, he added. Hey, 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 just a mo. Don't drag me into this rhubarb old sport, sniffed Custard. After all, it's you what's been hooked by these sloth-making modern gizmos. Remember that, Mr Plump. You're right, Custard, old friend, said Rhubarb with a hunch. It is me, he said, and sauntered off down the garden. Clattering, sorting and shifting noises were coming from the shed as Custard passed the time of day with Rookie and a couple of well-plumed aerobic birds. Eventually, Rhubarb opened the shed door and announced that it was time to shape up. And just what does that mean? inquired Custard as a chocolate-coated electric eel slithered down his throat. I am preparing to become fit, as fit as a fiddle, announced Rhubarb, and without more ado, Mouse, rodent scholar, joined the group. Is uh, anyone invited to this gathering? asked Mouse. Oh, yes, smiled Custard. <laughs> Back in the shed, Rhubarb quietly and confidently pondered about his new fitness program, Fitness and the Future. An hour later, the shed door burst open and Rhubarb announced the beginning of the end for those he referred to as Bone Idol. He then explained that the device on which he was sitting was a leading design in fitness equipment, Rhubarb's amazing muscle maker. And with that, Rhubarb began to demonstrate. Uh, excuse me. Sweet mouse. Don't forget the electronically assisted centrifugal per per propellant plant. Not now, mouse, said Rhubarb, and infused on about transforming himself into a tower of strength. <laughs> then he announced afternoon test drives for those who wished. That done, and with health top of mind, Rhubarb gave Custard an out of shape glance and began demonstrating the amazing muscle maker, supreme exercise equipment extraordinaire. This is boring, said Rookie, just as Rhubarb's amazing muscle maker started up all on his own. The electronically assisted centrifugal per per propellant plant, it works, it works! squeaked Mouse and turned to the crowd as pleased as Punch. The birds scattered. Custard swallowed a whole chocolate alligator and Rookie stayed on for the fun. Will somebody please turn this thing off? Rhubarb shrieked just as Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone arrived. 
Oh, he's as fit as a fiddle, sang Moggy. Or a couch potato, darling, Poodle Princess <laughs> chipped in, just as the contraption really took off. <laughs> Will somebody turn this thing off? Rhubarb begged while Custard rummaged in a box full of remote controls. Uh, Rhubarb's right. Nothing works. Oh, well, worth a try. Grinned Custard, just as Rhubarb's nosy muscle of best stopped dead. Mouse? Your electrological threat. Th it don't work! <laughs> Rhubarb tipped over the handlebars and everyone came running, just like in a film. Fantastic, darling. You must be so fit to do tricks like that, said Poodle Princess with stacks of action. Fit for nothing, if you ask me, said Moggy. Yeah, like these controls. I haven't the remotest idea which one works, muttered Custard. Oh! Uh -huh. Here it is! No, no! Click, click, click! Cleedy, click, click! <laughs> Whiz! The home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find Kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is.